and welcome to Mad Mix Outdoor Activities. Hello everyone, Everyone, everyone's alright after the Euros, it's now the Bunda after the Euros and uh, I'm going fishing tonight just to pull myself around a bit after what makes you bad makes you better, so that's it. So right, what we're going to do today is just some prep um, and stuff like that of basically just so you prep your bait up and um, freeze it take it out the freezer or whatever you want to do with it and then clip it on so you only go be using one rig um but your baits all go be ready for you so i've got some 100 pound mono so just go be making pulley rigs really but with a little bit extra on. as you know i normally just have them um it's so, alright. I want you want about chest freezer length, roughly about a metre thereabouts. So, me and Jeff's going fishing tonight. Um, me and Toothless. Power. So, yeah, I've got a, just a length, about a metre. Of the chest freezer. I'm using the scissors that we got in the goodie bags the other day. Um, J braid scissors. I've just been using them. They're not too bad. The only problem I found was they get uh, for cutting. Well, it's not for cutting one or for cutting bread, but you know we're going to be cutting some bread up soon, so we'll see what they like for that. So go through a hundred pound mono, no bother. Right. Uh, I'm going to make two of these up, one for me and one for Jeff. So right, first of all we want, we've got some chops from old rigs up and I've chucked them in the tray. Um, so let's put it, that through there and to pull them tight you want a lead, let's get a lead. I let out the draw. Just gives you something to grip on as you're pulling it. Um, right. Just do your preferred knots. Um, I'm just doing four turns and four more inside. Just with the uh, the summer season start, people hit target and raise. This is what this is going to be made of, but you can do it for anything really. Anything to save you time on the beach so you can spend more time fishing and watching your rod than anything else. So, the good old plaster and scissors, what I found in the rock pool in Scotland. Just chop that out there. So, we've got a nice tight knot on there with a the clip. As you can see, put that on the bin. And then, I want. What do I want? On a bead, <laughs> um, can't find the all. Unbelievable. A bead. Yeah. A swivel or a clip. I'll put a hundred and fifty pound swivel power swivel on. And I'll put another bead. It's just a full chopped up rigs. Sorry for the noise, first I woke up when I came in the shed. I'm struggling putting beads on here. My fingers, now after you've been fishing for a few days, fingers are absolutely shot to bits. It's not going to sort of touch here. There we go. There we go. Right. So that's that on there, that's that on there. So we've got the clip, beads. No fancy, no fancy at all. Um, Keep it simple. Do you think it's going on the seabed and God knows what's underneath underneath that water? Fair to play fighting. <laughs> Unbelievable. Right. So then we want on this end 
rather than doing a knot like I normally do, out the goodie bags from the other Euros, your Genie Crips, the, the strength one of the straight ones, you want to have them ripped open like that. Tie that on the other side. You'll see why I'm using the genie clip for the other side. There we go. Big gob spit. But the beauty of that is, I'm putting your the wire just to, just to hold, putting your lead like that. Just hold it, I'll give it a spit on there and pull it tight. There we go, nice and tight. Get that out. So, like I say, you only got to need two rig bodies for this rig. Leave a bit of a tag end in case it slips. Then, so there's our rig body. Now, what we're going to do is, I've got some. It's super snow, 25 pound. I've got no more 40 pound amnesia, what I would like. So we know we're roughly about that size. So if you do it three quarters of the length of that there, you'll be all right. By the time you tie, tie your knots on, you've got to lose a few inches off it anyway. So this can work with your up and overs and everything like this. As long as you've got a clip on that side, rather than a swivel, this will work wonders. So we get a swivel, tie a swivel onto the, we'll call it the snooty part. Right, um, massive well done to me mate, Pip Miller for winning the Euros over the weekend. Well done you jammy git. Well earned actually, well earned. No pip in a long time. Good lad, good lad. It's alright. Now we just want I've got seven or circles here. And we're gonna bad boys. The offset round. Just gotta tie that on to the other end. Now fancy. Just tie that onto there as you would. And like I say, I'll just get the old uh, snippers out. I'll come about a centimetre up and I'll just cut, just cut the end off. So then, right. So, you're fishing with one, one rig all night. Here you got, see if you make 10 of these up, see if you go to be having 10 casts, make 10 of these up. So you kind of like plan your, plan your session ahead. So we're going to be fishing maybe three hours, say because we use the fish baits, we're going to be fishing 20-25 minutes if we don't catch a fish, or half an hour each cast. So we want a good half a dozen a piece. So I'll make a few of these up, so literally a hook, a piece of line. What's going to then clip onto your, your rig body on the top like that just clips on in place and then you just want to make sure that it's actually got to be working by the time you put the dongle on the bottom and I think that there is a bit too long so what I'll do is I'll cut that off a little bit lot shorter. Just an inch shorter, then I'll go tighter again. So I want a, a dongle rig on the bottom of here. The circle. I know a lot of people know how to do all this, it's just for beginners that maybe it's the first season go to be fishing for rays and whatnot. Um, you literally need one or two rig bodies in your in your rucksack or your box. Um, 
it helps out so much you're just changing the snood rather than changing the full lot rather than clipping off you've already got bait ready for the next cast and everything just to save time so, um, so, so I'll try that again this is tried and tested by the way just thought I'd make a video and uh, Cordless Cod 5 I showed him a, a, a rough ground rig yesterday um, he's asked us to do that as well so yeah so we've got plenty of room for a dongle rig there now for my dongles I just tie a piece of 100 pound braid on the bottom so just to pull the length off get our J braid scissors from the Euros let's have a test of what these are like on the 100 pound braid leader so just pull the length off just whatever you want um, right, we'll go put this in here. Just anywhere on there. They actually give it a nice cut, like a really nice sharp cut. Um, I don't know if you can get that. A nice sharp cut edge. But yeah, uh, so I right, so wrap it on there. And all I do is I just get these in my hand now. Just wrap it up. And this says how much you want on you is your bait really just pull that on there pull that get your hook put it through the hook the back and then pull it tight i know everyone has their own different ways and uh, stuff like that get your braided scissors again um yeah so i really do like them actually for cutting bread it's actually really all right and all i'll do for the end is i just make a, a, a loop so i just just round just a figure of it not really a uh, figure of it with a twist just to make something to clip on to your rig make it a bit bigger A figure of it right let's see i know there's loads of people now that do all this so like i said it's for them who are beginners let's pull it up that bit there so you want clipping on your lead get your scissors and actually with these j braid scissors by the looks of it, putting that gap there, clamp down, it acts as a clamp, and just pull it tight. Oh, that's canny, isn't it? Oh, that's all right. That's a good invention, that. I mean, dear braids, scissors, whoever invented them. I really recommend them scissors if you didn't get any. Then, just for tidiness sake, just cut that bit off there. Off the back, yeah, I'm gonna be get tighter than that. So then, right now, our, our bait. You're looking length for your finger, roughly for your baits. So right. So you've got a lot of these these rigs, these snoods made up. Um, you've got two or three rig bodies made up. Put in your rig wallet. <coughs> now I've been to Morrison's and got some heron. There we go, £2.99 for two heron. I love the oily fish. Slice that open. Right. Put it in the bin. Right, let's get these on this board here. Move this down a bit. You see alright? Yes. So, we know. Our baits need to be round about the finger size. These are being ready to be made out of kippers, like, so we can pull that apart. They haven't been cooked, they're just ready to be cooked. The smell of them is magnificent. Lovely fish. And then, just slice. So, you want your finger length? Yep. Yeah. Slice that round about there. So 
Then we get our piece of fish. Now, where's that one? There. You can just like measure it up roughly. Yeah, that would be all right on there. Let's see if we can get a bit of zoomage going on. We can't zoom in. It's all right. What I like to do is now I've got that hole on the back there. If I get hold of this, I push this bar. Say bar. It's a, a grip wire lid through there, and then. I want the fin bit at the bottom and just put feed that through there like that so then we've got a needle like so and it's already on the dongle and then you can see where that's going bring it through back a bit so you kick it onto your base like so on there there we go where's that gone See how I've got all of that? And I've still got all of that side of the dongle. Bit of a bit elastic. I'm going to need more bit elastic. I think I left mine on the beach. Or oh, keep left on the beach. One of the two. Um, if anyone wants to send us some bit elastic to try, send it our. I go through a load of it. Then just hold it at the top where you rig it, you hook and your bar is. Fish. Smell has got the tension of the ferrets. Pull that bit back and just wrap it up nice and tight. So then you've got to get a nice straight bit because it's on that there. I've got cuts in my fingers and it's absolutely stinging from the juices. And now I've come over the top of that, over the top of the uh, what goes the clip into the dongle. I'm not worried about that just yet. Snap that off. Jesus Christ. Look at the oil coming off that. That's what we want. So then we now hold the hook. Pull away our needle. So we've got a nice straight bit. Uh, you kick it on there. All we do is get our pin and just prise it out there we go that's prised out there nicely and then we'll get the rig and we'll set it all up the oils are coming up I'm going to bang a load in the front I'm going to make these up for us tonight I'm going to bang a load in the freezer look at the juices off that that's just from one piece wrapping it on so then we'll lie it down just to prove it clicks on. So that comes over the edge, and there that'll click on there, no bother. A little piece of bread, and there you have it a lead, and then that, that'll hit the water. That comes off just like so. I didn't even move it. And then you think about having baits on the bed, well when you cast out, right, you, you're not like that, it just, the lines do not go vertically in the water unless you're fishing underneath a boat. They're coming off on an angle and nine times out of ten, first five, ten metres of your line is near enough on the seabed, depending on how far you cast. So that's already on the deck, already, you know what I mean? So then the rail just sits on top of it, munches it, gets that in its lips, fills its pain, Tries and sods off, your rod guns hour, you shout and scream, do a little dance, a bit of wee goes down your leg, reel in, you've got yourself a fish. So I'm going to put these in here for me and Jeff tonight, and uh, we'll keep making them. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share among your friends, fishing pages, everything else. Also, Massive shout out to Shane Bigley, uh, Hardness Codfather. Had a cracking weekend, we earned gas. Um, and also have a look on. Uh, where are we going at? Uh, oh. Also have a look on um, Facebook. Facebook. And there's a page on there where you can put your YouTube videos on David Hayes' site. Um, 
what's it called YouTube sea fishing on Facebook or something I can't mind none uh, please put a comment in the things um, massive thanks to Joe Fannon for the music at the intro now um, I'll not get done for copyrights anymore <laughs> um, head over to Joe's channel and give him a sub and all uh, I mean, I'm going to keep cracking on with these make a few put nice for me and Toothless hope you've enjoyed it and uh, look forward to the videos